Having flexibility means that we can move between octaves and notes with large intervals with a lot more ease. It also means that we can affect the intonation of a note quite easily with just small movements of the lips. We're using muscles here and here rather than the corners of our mouth. But lots of people try and smile and affect the note that way because they're the muscles we're used to using the most. Note bending is a really useful way to train up all the other muscles. And it also helps our ear because we bend the note and settle in the middle on the clearest part of the note. And it's often the clearest part that's the most in tune. So let's bend the note on the flute, starting with C, as that's quite an open note, so it's easier to bend. Without rolling out or in, we'll use our lips to aim upwards and down. Finally, at the end comes set in the middle of the note and we find the middle by finding the clearest sound. This often means it's the most in tune and the nicest to hear. <laughs> Try bending it as much as you can, maybe even as much as a tone, and then as subtly as you can, just to find the clearest part of the note. Harmonics are also really useful. Um, they are something you need to practice on the flute before the piccolo, because again, we don't want to squeeze the corners of the mouth and have a lot of tension when we play them. Harmonics are naturally found in a note. If we play a bottom D, we can hear the other notes in that sound. So when we lit the air up slightly without changing our fingers, we can hear the next D. We can hear a fifth above that, which is the A. Again, this is without moving any fingers. Next, try the octave above that, the top D. The harmonic series gets closer and closer together as we get higher, but don't worry too much about the numbers for now. Just try and move through the exercises without pulling the corners of the mouth or tensing anything up. It's a gentle movement of the air with lots of breath support. Harmonics are again another way of us finding where the embouchure needs to be, where the lips need to be, and when you put it on the piccolo it helps you find the differences between the two instruments. It trains our ear to listen for intonation, especially when we're thinking about octaves. <laughs>